Hello all, welcome to Code for Surround 991 Division 3. We are solving problem C on interesting numbers. In this problem, we are given n number with a length no more than 10 to the power 5. So, then we can perform the following operation any number of times. That is, we can choose any of its digits, square it, and replace the original digit with the result. The result must be a digit. That is, if you choose a digit x, the value of x square must be less than 9. Is it possible to obtain a number that is divisible by 9 through these operations? So, it will be given a very large number. And what we can do is we can exchange a particular digit with the square of the digit uh, given the condition that the square should also be a single digit number. So there are only three possible digits whose square is again resulting in a single digit. That is one that gives me one. I have two that will give me four and I have three that will give me nine. So only three are possible and out of which one replacing one will not make any sense. So replacing that. So now we are left with two and four. So we can replace two with four or three with nine. Okay. And we just need to tell can we, is it possible to obtain or not? That's all we have to do. Okay. So first I will let you go through the code what I'm doing and I will tell you that why this will work. Okay. So the idea is that I want to try all the possible given twos and threes and I will try to check that converting all of them to a particular number that is changing two to three oh sorry two to four and three to nine any number of time can I result into final number or not that is what I want okay so what I'm doing is basically I'm taking the thing as input maintaining the count of two three I don't need four initial thought was that I will be calculate for four but no that was not a fail so two and three I will calculate I will iterate into my s I will check that if my i matches with two I will increment my two if it matches with 3, I will increment to 3. In the sum, I will keep on storing the sum of all the numbers since it is a string. So, subtracting 0th character and taking the mod i everywhere. Now, what I'll do is, I will iterate from 0 to whatever the 3 count was there. Again, in nested loop, I will iterate from 0 to whatever the 2 count was there. Okay. Inside that, I will maintain a temporary sum that will be equal to the sum that we have. In that temporary sum, what I'll do is I will multiply whatever j is my j count of 2. So j into 2 plus i that is a count of 3 into 6. Why 6? Because replacing 3 will be result in 9. So how much increase will be there? Increase of 6 will be there. So that is why i into 3. And why 2? Because 2 will result in 4. So difference will be 2. So that is why this additional add-on will be there in temporary sum. After in that after I will check that if my t sum modulus 9 is equal to 0 or not if that's the case I will see out yes and return it otherwise it will be no so that is a working code that will do now let's jump to the intuition why this won't give me something like like why this will work and why this result won't result in TLE or something like that coming to your mind this will be because they after some time you will see cyclic behavior okay so let me start with count of that we are starting from 0 so 0 into 3 0 plus 0 into 2 initially it will be 0 no change whatever sum was there it will remain the same after that I will have 0 into 3 plus 1 into 2 there will be a difference of 2 that is increase of 2 so if my modulus 9 is coming 7 adding 2 to it will make it modulus 9 so I can do it that is what 0 into 3 plus 2 into 2 4 addition of 4 if some modulus 9 is again coming 5 addition of 4 will result will make it uh, modulus 9 equal to 0 so that is the case similarly we'll do it for 6 we will do it for 8 that is done now after some time you will see it will be 10 12 14 15 16 up, up till 20 for this it will be there if you see the modulus of this will be 0 modulus 9 I'm talking about 9 2 4 6 8 and when it is 9 it will be 1 up till 20 uh, for 10 it will be modulus will be 1 for 12 it will be 3 so then 5 then 7 then 9 again is 0 so I see that in 10 count only I can see from 1 to 10 all the counts will be there but this is not fixed right the count of 2's can vary so it's not necessary that for keeping it 0 will work or not so same, uh, same I will check for if my count is 1 addition of plus 3 to the previous series that we got how will it change so it will be 3 5 7 9 simply we'll taking the modulus 9 so it will 3 5 7 9 2 4 similar to that in 10 operation we can have it that is also done similarly we'll do for 2 also so if you see that 
in 10 comparisons i can cover all the possible models that i have that is the case and it is not necessary that this will be large. if these two and three are very large also in some number of operations i can so probably in at an average of hundred thousand most it should be satisfying my values if it's large it's no necessary that i have like in this problem i it can range to 10 to the power 5 so i have uh, 10 to the power 5 by 2 threes and 10 to the power by 2 twos okay and you're saying that making it nested will make events no it won't because in very few operation it will get return it out and it will give me the required answer so yeah that was the overall idea if you use your pen and paper try out some examples it will be able easy to figure it out like why this is working and it should work yeah so that's all for this problem if you have any query do come read it out if you like the video hit the like button and do subscribe for more daily content thank you